Architect Frank Lloyd Wright designed lots of amazing houses, which is what most people know him for today. Along with those houses, he also designed furniture, landscapes, and beautiful stained glass windows. Today, we're designing and making a simple stained glass window inspired by the geometry Frank Lloyd Wright used in his windows. To design this project, I'm using a software called Rhinoceros and I start by using a previous file that I designed for this light. It has the same square frame and side panels that we'll use for this project. The difference will be in the pattern and the final materials that we use to construct it. Using the same grid of lines from the previous file, I begin by adjusting the pattern that I already developed in my previous design. One aspect of my previous file that I'm carrying over to this one is the angled lines. This breaks up the heavy orthogonal pattern and adds visual interest to the final product. Towards the center and base of the pattern, I focus on a series of squares and rectangles to continue drawing attention from the top of the pattern to the bottom. I also decided to get rid of the circle that was in the previous pattern. Once I had a rough design, I extruded the shapes to match the 8th inch eco birch plywood that I'll be using to construct this table lamp and assemble the 3D model. With the design file created, I applied protective paper masking tape to my eco birch plywood. I load up my laser cutter, insert the 8th inch plywood, and start the cutting process. As I design more lamps like this one, I'm really starting to enjoy the process of coming up with geometrical shapes for the patterns. It reminds me of solving puzzles where you can use specific parts of your brain to try and come to a conclusion while letting the rest of your mind go on autopilot. That's one of my favorite parts of designing any project. Being able to just focus on one thing and let the rest of my mind and body go into autopilot for a good amount of time. With this lamp design, you can see how simple it is to take a general frame and side panel product and change one aspect like the pattern on the sides to create something different. This project can be cut using two sheets of 8th inch plywood at 19 inches wide and 10 inches long, and each board took about 20 minutes to laser cut for a total of 40 minutes for this project. I also cut clear blue acrylic which we'll be using to add a pop of color in some areas of the pattern. Once all the pieces were cut, I brought them over to my work table and removed the paper masking tape. In the future, I'll remove the paper masking tape from my colored acrylic before laser cutting it because it takes forever to peel it off each little piece. This took the most time during the assembly process. I bring over trace paper and cut it down to fit over the pattern cutouts of the side panels. This will create a translucent cover that diffuses light from the light bulb. Once all the trace paper is attached to the back side of the plywood, I apply glue in the shapes where the clear blue acrylic will be placed. I align the pieces as carefully as possible and push them into place. I brought over my Maxi Cure super glue and start by applying it between each of the tabs of the top frame. I align the tabs with the slots of one side of the lamp and push it into place. I repeat this with the bottom frame. Then I apply glue to the opposite side and bring the side panel with the same tab and slot cutouts at the perimeter as the first piece. I align the slots of the panel with the tabs of the frames and push it into place. Now I turn the assembly over so that the empty side is facing up and I apply glue between all the tabs of the frames and side panels. I bring over the next side panel, align the tabs and slots, and push it into place. I repeat this with the last side. Once the lampshade is fully assembled, we can attach a typical lamp kit that you can get at a local hardware store or on Amazon. Then we install the light bulb and the project is complete. I love the way that the light passes through the trace paper and clear blue acrylic. It becomes a soft light that enters the space and the pattern becomes a focal point and a great way to start a conversation with new visitors. If you enjoyed this project, check out my other laser craft videos and consider subscribing. I'll see you again next week.